The cheapest people in the world. Uh, I've got some uh, clothes uh, in Ziploc bags. In the freezer? It actually kills the bacteria by having what? it in here. No, it doesn't. Pretty sure you're preserving the bacteria, not killing the bacteria. Also, putting your jeans in the freezer doesn't remove the stains. I save on time. I don't have to use electricity to run my washing machine. Nothing like cracking open your ice cold jeans in the morning and putting them on. Imagine putting cold jeans on. Can't relate. I've had clothes since high school. Can you believe that? Yes. I guess. Okay, this pair here. Let's see all those these 15 stains. Years ago. Look at that. Okay. Like brand new. They look like you just bought them. I'll give him that. Don't tell me he washes his pots in the fridge too. Because I don't think it works like that. The refrigerator doesn't cycle on as much and it doesn't produce or uh, consume as much electricity. Just pack I'm up skeptical. your fridge with uh, anything you can find. I don't care. I'm all for saving money. But you know what's better than saving money? Living. I don't care that some people might think that some of my habits are over the top now. It's not about what people think, it's about hygiene and germs. Oh, I'm cringing. He doesn't care about this comfort, is his he cares about saving money. This poor girl, this poor, poor girl. There's no need for me to use has a jacuzzi? the washing machine because it just costs too much money. I could just reuse the water right but here. wait, I thought he uses the freezer to clean his clothes. Now he's washing them in the hot tub? There's a lot of wear and tear on your clothes in the washing machine. I'm able to wash my clothes in here. Okay, I'm sure washing machine uses less energy than a jacuzzi. I'm sure. Uh, I just put a little bit of soup in my uh, plastic container. No! And uh, he's heating up soup how quickly in the hot tub. Up. I think people probably use their microwave. Are every you okay? Day, and that adds up to almost forty dollars a month. Forty dollars a month. How powerful is your microwave? This dude's tripping. I'm pretty sure he's making things up. It's almost ready. It's almost ready. Because my hot tub's not gonna add any value to the house, I decided. Wait, he was blowing on his soup as if it's boiling hot. Like, we all know that that soup is still freezing. We know that hot tub ain't heating up that soup. He's like, just in case I might burn myself. No, 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 no. He just heated up his food in the hot tub, cleaned his dishes in the hot tub, and now he's getting in there for a bath. Imagine all the food particles floating around. Disgusting. It costs about $15 a oh, month so to, to take a 10 minute shower every day. And that adds up. By using my hot tub, I would say I'm saving about $30 to $40 a month. It's not worth it. You're not really cleaning yourself. This is like a cash cow for me. A cash cow? Whoa, okay, he's getting ahead of himself. A cash cow. He's not very smart because if he was really smart, he would just shower in the rain. That's completely free. I'm joking, guys. I'm surprised he doesn't. I think that all of Todd's free time is spent preserving the value of things that he has. Oh, this poor girl. Honestly, girl, you drop me a line, I'll take you out for a nice steak dinner while he cooks his hot tub soup. <laughs> this car is 10 years old and you would not know that by looking at it. I mean, you would know that because it's a 10 year old model. <laughs> You wouldn't know that just by looking at it. I've got plastic not Wait, only on the, uh, the dashboard and on the steering wheel, but I've got it <gasps> on the seat. He has it on the airbags. That's not safe. How are the airbags going to do their job if you saran wrap them? I have no idea how Todd is able to drive in that car with all that plastic. He has no pride. <laughs> Clearly not. I was drying some clothes in the dryer, Wait. and I thought, why am I spending money? Well, I can just, you know, put them in the back of my car and drive them in there. Pretty sure he's making so many things up because he could just hang them outside to drive. Also, he's using gas when he's driving his car, so I don't think he's saving much energy or money. I think the clothesline in the car is ridiculous. Kind of cute. I can afford to dry his clothes in the damn dryer. Oh, I swear. It only takes about two or three hours for my clothes okay. to uh, dry in the back seat. I mean, while we're at it, why don't we put an egg on the dashboard and in two or three hours you can have breakfast? You know, since we're being ridiculous, let's just be as ridiculous as possible. What's the point of saving so much money if you're never gonna enjoy it, ever? I mean, to me, this is like really the only way to go. <sighs> this guy must be so much fun to hang around. He'd be like, hey, remember that 13 cents I lent you for gum? I need a rock. He would make you sign contracts and everything. Each of my stops each day is contingent on timing in order to get the best deals and the best bargains. Grocery stores usually okay. discount near expired food toward the end of the day. You can bargain at a grocery store because I'm pretty sure I can't bargain at my grocery store. They'd be like, you, you good? You good, Fed? So he'll buy all the, okay. the fish that's on clearance that they're about to throw out. Ew. 
That stuff's about to go bad. Nobody should be eating that. That's disgusting. It is disgusting. Girl, I'm with you. I don't know how she puts up with him. Like, she's a saint. I, I couldn't. I could not. I could not. When I get something cheap, when I find a good deal, I feel really good. I mean, everybody likes a good deal. Everybody loves a bargain. Everybody loves to get something cheap. But we know what else we'd like? Not to be sick. Food poisoning is not fun. What you looking for? Anything that's uh, gonna be past its expiration date? Do you have anything that's old, that's anything expired? Date. He likes mold on his food. It adds flavor. And also, he doesn't have to add salt to it later. See that one broken? Yeah. You can have it for half price. What about this one? This one's looking a little brown. Yeah, oh, I'll take that for 99 cents. How's that sound? Yeah, Why do you kinda, want something brown? Kind of cheap. What do you give me on that one? I see cents. a lot. That one looks like it's been opened up. That's cool. 99 cents. I'll take that for 99 cents. What is this 99 cents? 99 cents. Back in the 1950s, okay? Well, I'm just looking for a deal. How That's old so is this? Cheap. Is there an expiration date? He thinks this is the dollar oh, store. 99 cents? 99 cents. Go for it. It's like, I don't even want to deal with you. Just take it. You want 99 cents? Go for it. Take the whole store if you need to. Just like, I don't want to ever want to see you again. I estimate that I probably save about $75 a month on expired groceries that most people don't want. And uh, I can save me up to about $900 Ooh. a year. Saves you $900 a year, but one day you're going to get sick and your medical bill is going to be a lot more than $900. <laughs> Especially if you live in America. Medical pills are not cheap there. Throw it in my freezer and yeah, I'm, I'm living like a king. Living like a king. I don't know any kings who eat expired food. I also don't know any kings, so. This dude is gonna be the richest dude in the cemetery. We have another cheap woman. Wait, what is she doing? Is that her hair? Oh, she's using her hair as floss. I know it sounds gross, but it just works as a good does system. sound gross. Cost doesn't cost me anything. Dental floss is like a dollar. I give you a dental floss. Come find me. Literally, I will buy it for you. I just don't want to see that ever again. Love of my heart, my son Alex. It's gonna be so bad for him. Yeah, so now we're really tightening the first strings. I feel so bad. My mom wants to save money for me for college. I, I mean, it is for college. It means I have to make sure it's what he has to use a measuring cup to make sure he only pours half a cup of orange juice Couldn't you just pour it in the cup and measure if it was half a cup also now you have to wash two things So you're wasting more water. Oh No, am I becoming one of them? That, that gets kind of annoying. It's just after good a intentions. While. I propose on how we can save money around here. Wait, 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 wait. Are those wigs? She can't afford dental floss, but she can afford all these wigs? Lady, get your priorities straight. Pretty sure your dental health is more important than these wigs. Unless she doesn't have hair for medical reasons. Then, I, then she gets a pass. Well, I'll see you later. Love you. Bye. Oh, I know. But oh, that's her real hair right there. She needs wigs because she uses all her hair for dental floss. Hey! Good joke. Not bad joke. To save money, I usually buy one large cup and then I ration it out over okay. the days. By rationing out the latte over so three days, it? I'm able to enjoy the latte for a third of the cost. But can you really enjoy it on the third day or is it gonna be disgusting? Lipstick marks indicate how many times also, that I've had to reheat this you cup just... of coffee. It seems like you get this little Ew. this film on top that you gotta take off. Not the film, anything but the film. But there's good stuff underneath that. No, there's no good stuff anywhere. No. Just make your own coffee at home fresh every day. You don't need to buy an expensive latte. But you do need to buy dental floss. I'm looking at you. I keep my oh, chewed no. pieces of gum in the freezer. Oh no. Because it helps preserve oh, no. the flavor. Your chewed pieces of gum. Chew one piece every three days. No! And this gets worse and worse. I can't chew my gum for more than 10 minutes without it losing flavor. And she's holding on to it for three days. Then we get to Wednesday. She's trolling. That's when I treat myself. Oh, treat yourself. Okay, you, you treat yourself. I refuse to try that. Because I don't even like gum after like two hours. Because you're normal. Alex and I will eat the buffet Ooh. every day, once a day. She would really make sure I had a lot to eat and have that last. Okay, at least she's feeding him. We eat one time a day. Or is it only one time we a day? Just <gasps> I said the same time as her. They eat one time a day. I don't know if I could do that. I was gonna say I stack up my plate at the buffet too. Like one time I had to get rolled out because I was so full. But it's not the only meal I had. <laughs> I just wanna try everything at the buffet. Everything looks so good, you know? I wanna sublet your room. Doesn't he live there now? Oh, but then he's going away for school. But where am I gonna stay when I come back up? A nice, clean, quiet motel. <laughs> kicking him out into a motel. I mean, I guess he's old enough to move out. I'll give her one pass. One. But she's savage. I don't think I could do it as a parent. I'm not a parent. I'll have to let her do it. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. She's not even 
help him? I am sad because I will miss my mm. mom because she has been very nice Aww. to me and good to me my whole time here. At least she's been nice. But I won't miss her frugal ways at all. <laughs> I wouldn't either. I couldn't live with her. Now I'm able to rent this place out. Now she can rent it out. But does anybody want to live there with her? <laughs> is she sectioning it off with tape? Like this is my half of the room, and that's your half of the room. That we can section yep, off she's the trying space to between tenant. No one's gonna listen to your tape. You don't think someone's gonna step over the tape? Well, these tenants are gonna hate her. I don't think anyone's gonna rent this. Yeah, unless you're desperate. here for the sublet? Yes. Yes. Come on in. Come on in. Okay. Woman, run away! Run, run! 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 Now we're coming in oh, here. Wait. She put up a uh, curtain. That's that's a sheet. So uh, <laughs> she can't be serious. That's a divider. <laughs> Imagine walking in and this is what you see. The other things on the other it's side of the sheet dude. are not included unless you pay. Oh, like what? So the washer and dryer. You have to pay to unlock the levels. It's like playing free to play games. They're never free. You gotta pay extra to unlock all the cool things. We have a hot plate. So wait, there's no kitchen. She wants him to no, cook in the room. Oh, okay. So then, why is that in here? Well, the the, the fridge and the stove they're they're turned off. What you're paying for here is the common area, the bedroom, and the bathroom. But you can't use the kitchen. You just gotta cook in your bedroom. Nobody wants to cook in a bedroom. Nobody. She told me there was a kitchen, and I had to pay more for a kitchen. Which who does that? Who does that? When I first saw the sheet, I thought it was very trashy. I don't want to see no, that nobody wants when to see I walk that. home every day. And I'm getting some mixed emotions, mixed reviews on the place. And you're surprised? Leaning towards a yes here? Or... Yeah, I'm leaning towards a yes. Yeah. This is out of his mind. You don't want to live with someone who agreed to that. As long as it's quiet on the other side of the curtain, I'm okay. You're more of a man than I will ever be. Wait, I'm not a man. <laughs> Anyways, on that note, guys, I had so much fun hanging out. Just remember to enjoy your life and you no know, money isn't everything. It's good to be careful. You don't want to go spend everything you've got and put yourself in a bad situation. But you still got to live and enjoy the life you have. So life is short. Anyways, guys, if you want to hang out some more, I've left a video right here. I love you all so much. Stay awesome, stay sweet, and don't forget to be nice to each other. Bye-bye!